Hi, I'm Lady Ada from Adafruit Industries, and I'm going to share with you some information about my latest project. But before I get into the technical details, I'd like you to watch this video. It's from a conference I attended two years ago. And uh, I'm from Washington, and I'm here to help. You probably saw on YouTube, uh, there's a video going around, and it says, Don't tase me, bro. Well, uh, non-lethal weapons uh, are uh, really pretty critically uh, important. And so what I have with me is a Dazzler. So the Dazzler is a seasickness machine. And what it does, it uses LEDs, and it's a random generator, and it affects your equilibrium. I'm not going to point it at you. I was with a group of GE executives yesterday, and I held it up like this, and just the reflection made them nauseous. We're trying to change from don't tase me, bro, to daz me, bro. <laughs> and that's it. Let me know when you're feeling bad. Thank you. Anyway, thank you so much. So we decided to look online to find out more information, and we ended up finding some news stories. And tonight, Homeland Security has spent close to a million dollars on a flashlight that can stop you in your tracks. Even law enforcement says it is going to be controversial. We wanted to see just how effective the light is. Okay, that's a lot brighter. Those blotches in my vision stayed with me for about a half hour after the test. And then a strong headache kicked in. It's still a little blinding. Like most government projects, the Dazzler was actually invented and developed by an outside consulting firm. So we looked up some information about this firm, uh, found the patent, and looked up exactly what it is that they did. The portable flashlight flashes green LEDs at about 10 hertz, this causes flash blindness, startling, disorientation, vertigo, and occasional vomiting. We thought we could probably do that for under a million dollars, so we put together this project for about 250 bucks and are publishing all the information so that you can build one of these at home. Here's the project enclosure. So I reused a flashlight that I got from Sears. Um, so this is the head, which holds the LEDs and electronics inside. This push button is how we activate it. It's uh, not turned on right now. Um, and here is a lead acid battery that provides power. Up here we have 36 LEDs. Each one has a lens that focuses the optics. So I'm going to remove just the lens and you can see that there's a basic heat sink with a fan on the back to help with a little um, heat sinking. Here we have the circuit board. We have six driver FETs, two for each color, red, green, and blue. We have a Arduino clone here, which I use to basically do the pulse width modulation, the randomization, and mode selection. And there's a wire that travels down the body to the battery. Then behind here, you can remove this plate. There's a 9-volt battery that powers just the Arduino. It's a separate power supply to avoid uh, noise that comes from the pulse width modulation. Uh, reprogramming header for update, updating the firmware, and a mode button which lets me uh, change what kind of display it is. Want to make one yourself? Well, we've got the schematics, source code, and circuit board layouts all available online at ladyada.net slash make slash bedazzler. You may be wondering, does it really work? Bedazzler human subject test. Ready in three, two, one. Goggles, they do nothing. Well, turns out it doesn't work that well, but it is great for raves. <laughs>